Hello and welcome. This is Dee from Crystal Crafts with Dee. So this video that I'm going to do today is um, a cross stitch video, just a review and to show you what I'm working on and what I've finished and all that sort of thing. Uh, I've been trying to get them sort of done per cross stitch project, but it's just taking me forever. So I thought people were asking me how I'm going with this. Have I started this? When will I start this one? And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to update a video sort of maybe once a month just sort of let you know what I'm working on how I'm going with these guys and um, then you can sort of see it roughly you know in real time how I'm going so I have a few here to show you what I'm up to so um, I will start with these two I got these two from uh, VIP cross stitch they sent these to me for review so I have been working on them um, and I did finish one, so um, I will show you that one first. And then I'll show you the other one. I'm about halfway done with that one. So I'll get started on this one. So this one here, um, Joy Sunday. And this is called The Field. And it's an adaptation of Van Gogh's Wheat Fields with Cypress Trees. I just love this. I love the size of it, actually. It's a really good little size. And I just... I love the colors and I love how it's sort of been done. Um, so I got stuck into that pretty quick. That one is it's 14 count and it's 27 by 19 centimeters. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, right over there. So that is the finished product there. So I thought it turned out really, really good actually. And it was good fun to do. So you had some confetti and you had some blocking areas and it was good kept me busy for a little while it's a lot of green but the shading it just looks gorgeous and I love I just love the sky and that I, I love this it is a lot of green though um, I um, didn't have many issues with this one I did with some of the symbols so um, like this purple symbol and the plus symbol those two uh, were okay when they were separated, but when they were together, it was it got a little bit sort of I wasn't sure what was what I referred on to my chart It was no problem and the other color symbols I had was This light blue symbol and the light blue X. So especially with those ones they were in together as well and I wasn't sure like especially because these little 14 count squares are quite small and when you have these two symbols together, I wasn't sure if, is that a, a partial X that didn't print right or is that, you know, but again, I referred onto my chart and it was easy enough to work from there. That's why they give you the chart. So no issues there. Um, one other thing too, is that as I was going along, um, the symbol for this color for black is this screen here. So, I was sort of going along and stitching the black sort of last and because it's that dark green symbol and it was in amongst all the other greens I had a bit of trouble going wait you know I'm looking in the light wait is that a stitch or have I stitched that or is that a symbol so what I did was um yeah I went ahead and did that and then on the rest of it I stitched the black first and then I didn't have the problem of trying to work out is that a symbol or is that a stitch I think it turned out really really beautiful so the leftover, oh, that's easy to see graph. So the leftover threads, I had a lot left of some of them and I ran out of two of them. Um, not bad for those guys actually, but these two colors, um, this one I had about this much left. So that was okay, but this one here, I ran out and I still had about 50 stitches to go. So I was a little bit cranky about that because um, that's a substantial amount of stitches to not have threads for. So lucky I had that color in my stash and I just used that, but that's for me, that's pretty annoying actually. And I'm pretty efficient when I do my cross stitching. I make sure I don't, you know, excessively use my strands as I'm going along, like I try to be pretty careful with that and I still ran out so that's a bit annoying that's a supplier 
the supplier, the um, warehouse issue. Not VIP cross stitches issue because they just sell these guys. Um, I didn't contact them because I was, I had the color anyway and I wanted to finish it. So um, yeah, I didn't contact them. So, but they would have had more colors out right away. So there you go. Lots left of those ones. Yeah. So that's that one done. And the next one that I have from VIP Cross Stitch. So this one is different. This one is a sampler. Another Joy Sunday. And um, it's stamped as well. Both of them are stamped. And this one here, 14 count Ada. It's 28 by 36 centimeters. And um, I love doing samplers, but they do take a long time because you're stopping and starting, stopping, start, stop and start, stop and start. And there's a lot of backstitch, but I'm halfway done at the moment. Um, so it's coming along really, really well. So I'll just some backstitching, so we'll get the black out of there. Okay, oh, I've just got threads everywhere. So when I, I work, I usually roll. So like at the moment, I'm backstitching along here. So I will roll it like this and then backstitch. Um, I haven't used my hoop yet, but I will because I've got bigger stuff coming along and I need to use the hoop. But anyway, I'll show you how far I've come along with this. If I can straighten him out. Um, it's coming along really, really well. I'm loving it. I love the colors. I love the design. I think it's really, really cool. Um, it does have a lot of backstitch. So that bottom bit, I've done all that bit there. So it's come up really well. And I'm just finishing off this section here. I've just got to backstitch that. And backstitch the flowers along the side there. And then I can move on to the top section. But um, it's coming up really well. Really, really well. And I have had a few issues with this, with the stamping actually. Um, it's the first time I've had stamping issues. But um, I don't know if I can show you. Um, that light blue color. You can see the red along the side there. I don't know if that's in focus. The stamping was off in some sections and I had to refer back to the chart. Um, which is fine, but you're sort of going along and you're sort of, oh, I'll do yellow there and I'll do yellow there and oh, wait a minute, one of them's out a bit and I think this yellow one actually, um, I just had to check my graph and then do my stitches according to these lines here because they were okay. And then I was basically doing counter cross stitch because some of them were so um, badly aligned. Like there's a bit there. Um, it's not too bad with those ones, but when you've got other colors next to it, it puts all your colors off. So I had a bit of a section here, um, section up here. They're sort of in different spots, which is kind of frustrating, but you know, you got the chart. It's easy to read. Um, that's just the way it goes, eh? So halfway done. And what I did too here is this back stitching here for the branches. Um, I used two strands instead of one. So I have two reasons for that. One of them is um, I'm doing these bits of the leaves and I'm doing them. I'm not going to cut the thread and then just do a, um, you know, one strand in between. I just did it all at once because <laughs> I'm lazy. But also um, I do like the thicker um, branches because branches are thick. And you can sort of see the difference between that little back stitching there and the same color. It doesn't have the same impact. So I like doing it two strands for that sort of stuff, the branches. And um, of course, they've only given me enough color to do one strand back stitching on that. But that's okay. I do have that color in my stash. So that's all right. But it's coming up really good. I'm really, really happy with it, actually. So not much to do for that one. Um, I've got to do some more of the bees. I've got to do more of him. Um, yeah, so once I'm done with that, I will get on to the top bit. So I'm getting there. Coming up good. 
The symbols are easy to read too. I didn't didn't really have an issue with that. Um, yeah, 21 colors and there's five backstitch colors and some French knots and the French knots are this little caterpillar guy for his eyes and for the end of his antennas there. I was sort of stitching these guys and I thought, I have no idea what those are. And it wasn't until I was back stitching, I'm like, oh, they're ladybugs. I didn't know that. So it's coming up good. Really, really happy with that. And well, so far with the colors, um, hopefully I'll have enough. But the colors are just gorgeous. Aren't they pretty? Pretty, pretty colors. So that's my sampler. So halfway done with that, that's exciting. Okay, so the next one's, so this one's completely different. So this one here, and I am doing a separate video on this one because um, it's a bit of a tutorial as well. So I have a diamond painting that I want to convert to cross stitch. And I thought this would look so awesome in cross stitch. So I'm doing the diamond painting and I'm doing the cross stitch. So what I've done is, um, this is it here. So I had it photocopied. So I went into the printers because my printer doesn't do it. But went into the printers. I said, can you please photocopy this for me in color and one in black and white. So I've got the color version here. But I thought that looked so cool in um, cross stitch. So they printed me up a color one and they printed me off black and white and then I just highlight um, where I'm up to but uh, I am going to be gridding this and gridding my fabric but I was just too excited I just want to get started first so I've just as you can see I've done I've done a pretty big section uh, it's turning out really cool actually so I've got all my colors together, so they're all in there, and I just use the um, the exact same DMCs they said, and I plonked them in there, and I'm going to use them, and we're going to compare them. So that's going to be pretty cool. But this is how far I got to it. So look at those colors; it's quite in interesting. I'm just pretty exciting we're gonna see how it turns out but it's looks looking pretty cool lots of pinks lots of purples so I'm getting there and I, I am supposed to be gritting it I will I'm too impatient so I started that so we'll see how that turns out and it's interesting too because the size factor because your squares for your diamond painting versus your squares for your um, cross stitch being a 14 count that um, it's the design is going to be so much smaller in cross stitch so it's only going to be i think it only be about yay uh, about yay big that's going to turn out awesome so keep your eyes peeled for that one in my next um, video update on my cross stitches so that's something a little bit different and last but not least this particular cross stitch um, I got to do for a review for New Craft Day. So I will be starting this one very, very shortly. And um, in my next update video, I'll show you how I, I've gotten started with that one. Um, but that's going to be pretty darn cool. Um, and there's metallic threads all in there. It's going to look awesome. But this is one of the series of um, angels that Joy Sunday do and um, they're the season's angels so there's one for each season plus there's a Christmas one Noel which I really want to but this one is autumn and it is going to look absolutely gorgeous so I'll just have a bit of a look in there and show you what it looks like and then over there. so that is just so pretty I can't wait to start that one. And you've got, it has 36 colors, uh, three back stitch colors. It's got three quarter stitch and a quarter stitch, and all that is mainly in um, defining her face and her neck. Um, but 
what I love the most about this is the um, that border. I just love that. Over there. So I'll just quickly show you the canvas. If you haven't seen my unboxing video, um, so that's it. They're really, really good size. Really good size. 159 stitches by 240, and how big is it? The design size is 36 by 52 centimeters. So a really nice size. And I just, I'm just loving that pattern. The patterns around the sides. How cool is that? So you got some really nice um, blocking areas and you've got um, ones down here where you're going to be using all different colors. So I like it when they're mixed like that because some days you don't feel like sort of getting into the nitty gritty of, of different colors. You know, sometimes you just want to smash out a big chunk. Um, so I love that. So that is my latest one that I'll be starting pretty quick. And I'm hoping to get the whole series actually, so... Um, yeah, so that's what I've been up to with my cross stitch. So I will be starting this one and I will be showing my works, um, how I'm going with that one in the next video. And I have this one here that I'm converting from diamond painting to cross stitch. And I have One that I'm currently working on at the moment, a sampler, which I will be showing you in the next video, hopefully finished. And one completed cross stitch. So hopefully in my next video, I'll be able to show you another completed cross stitch. Um, yeah, so you can sort of see how I'm going with those guys, plus have a completed. And this is sort of the format I'm going to try to follow maybe do once every couple of weeks or once a month or something like that. So anyway, that's what I've been up to cross stitch wise. I do have other cross stitches that have been sitting there for a couple of years, but um, I want to get these ones done first. So um, you might see those old ones sort of pop up as I get started on them because I want to finish them. So anyway, that's my cross stitches at the moment. So keep your eyes peeled for um, the next video showing you what I'm up to and what's finished. So thank you so much for watching my video and I will catch you next time. Bye.